In Blackrock Village, we're embarking on quite a significant project as part of our response to COVID-19. To deal with the challenges that presents, we're trying to provide a safe and welcoming uh, village environment. We're trying to help with mobility, active mobility in particular, to help support people who are walking and cycling. And we're also, uh, as a major part of this, trying to support businesses as they reopen uh, because it's been a really difficult time for them over the last number of months. And particularly, businesses that are in hospitality, they need more space. So what we're looking at is using that public realm to help businesses to maybe expand and put out tables and chairs and so that they can use that and help, help them recover. We realised that quite urgently we would have to do something with the village. The village needed to be able to respond to the crisis. But more importantly, how are we going to help traders and the community to reopen the village in a way that would benefit everyone in a safe, a social distancing way? We came up with a plan that involved introducing a one-way system and turning the focus a little bit away from primarily a village that catered for cars to one that combined catering for cars with catering for the residents, the traders um, and the community at large. Black Rock Village, it's quite a nicely spatially enclosed village uh, and now we were changing it into a one-way system and bringing a contraflow cycleway through. But what we wanted to do was to combine that with creating a strong sense of place. So we have tried to soften the impact of these traffic interventions and create a place that people want to stay and linger and have coffee and sit down and so on. What we've done is develop a palette of materials, putting out benches, uh, picnic tables and softening the whole street with trees. And the, the effect then is that people, they don't just pass through it, but actually they're invited to stay. Um, and in that way, we're actually putting these villages at the heart of our uh, community and our social life. A big focus of the work you see behind me here has been reopening Black Rock Village for all to enjoy for residents, for visitors, for students, for people who work in the village, and for traders to be able to succeed as we reopen the village post the COVID-19 lockdown in a safe and healthy way for everybody. And this will be great not just for current generations, but we're learning now for how to really develop the village for future generations to enjoy also. It's great, it's beautiful. This is what Black Rock needed. All you had to do was to come here over the weekend. I was here Saturday and Sunday on several occasions just to monitor what was happening. And I think the big word I would say is vibrancy. The place was buzzing. Uh, there were people sitting on chairs, eating, chatting. No sooner did a group of people leave a bench or a chair than another group came in. It was just lacking in life. The place was just soulless. Suddenly there's a new vibrancy, a new atmosphere has been created. Initially the scheme has been rolled out as a temporary measure to facilitate social distancing and mobility. However, the intention would be that we will monitor the level of adoption and monitor the impact the scheme has on the local area. And if it works out positively, as we, as we hope it will, um, we will look uh, at a more permanent installation in the future. And, and obviously depending on the success of this scheme, there's a good possibility it will impact on proposals for future towns and villages within the DLR area. It feels like the way it should be and it also feels like the beginning of a really wonderful future for Black Rock.